Welcome to the channel, my name's FaceCast, and today we are going to check out one of the strongest builds, if not the strongest, in Survivor.io, known as Deathwalker. And this is a stream, once it's a video, once it's published on YouTube, you can fast forward if you want to check things out. This is actually my first time checking out this build right here. So let's go over the basics really quickly. And welcome to the stream, everyone, if you're here. Welcome. And also, thanks for watching this when this is a video. So here's what we have. The most important, what's up, Dave? The most important parts of this build is, first of all, the legendary armor of Quietus. So that's one important piece of this build. And then we have the Void Waker emblem. The Void Waker emblem. And uh, it's a very specific build. It might be kind of hard to use. You do need a red armor of Quietus to use it. Also, the Sword of Disorder is recommended because you can essentially increase your attack and if you're not taking damage once you're in a state, if you have the Sword of Disorder at Astro Forge 3, you can have a permanent 50% increase right here. A permanent 50% attack damage increase. So that's pretty cool. What is up, Mike? What is up, buddy? So this is what the death walker build looks like and some people i hear like to remove eternal gloves and wear void waker hand guards greetings mike thanks for being here buddy greetings everybody greetings i'm gonna open this on my phone right now we're just checking out the death walker build this is what it looks like and it's glory check it out it's beautiful i love it I'm going to open this up on my phone. I'm getting advertisements for my own stream on my phone. Also, don't forget, you can close chat. Give this video, the stream a like. That would help out a lot. So let's go. This is the Death Walker build. I'm just going to keep on saying that. Now let's open up chat. Let's turn on all messages. There we go. Actually, let's switch accounts. No, no, wrong account. So what we have is the red armor of Quietus. The red Void Waker emblem. We're just getting started here, boys and girls. I'm trying to open this up on my phone. Okay, there we go. We did it. I am I get advertisements on my own stream. <laughs> Stop giving me... I don't need Bumble advertisements. I'm not single. How is everybody doing today? I hate, I hate how it opens up top messages and not all messages all at once. This is what they call the strongest build. They call this the highest damage build, especially if you have Astral Forge 3 Sword of Disorder. Because as you see, Abyssal Horror, max shackle stats increased to 50%. And right here, shackle enemies slain by Sword of Disorder will have their soul shackled. The more soul shackled, the higher the skill damage. Max 30%. So now we're maxing that out. Oh, let me adjust right here. Maxing that out at 50%. And when we're, we're going to essentially kill ourselves here and enter a state. Death roll. The match doesn't end when the hero dies. The hero enters soul state. We're going to enter a soul state where we can't die. Have you used Chaos Gauntlet in place of Shiny Wrist Guards for Chapter 4? I have not done that yet. I can try that out can try that out. This is what they call the strongest build, the highest attack build. So let's go. Let's go do a main challenge. Let's go do one of the last main challenges. First of all, this is what we're using if you haven't checked it out. We have the red armor of Quietus. We have the Void Waker emblem and Sword of Disorder. But the two most important pieces of this build are the armor of Quietus and the Void Waker emblem. So I'm going to go to a main challenge. What's up, 30th Watcher? How's everyone doing today? It's the weekday. People are at school. People are working. Here's chapter 114, Valley Plains. Let's go enter it. So I was watching Nice Bar. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. The leader of Olympus, the greatest clan in Survivor.io. On a stream, he was showing me how to do everything. So right away, we're just going to chill. We're going to hang out for a while. We don't essentially need Survivor Instinct. I'll tell you why. Let me see. He was giving me a lot of tips, so we don't essentially need it. 
So you're going to want to wait until the first boss, kill the first boss, suicide on the first boss, from that point onward, start killing mobs, and that will reset the timer. You don't need six cents. The necklace increases your crit rate. So you don't need six cents because the necklace will increase your crit rate. But these are like bad skills. Why do I want these skills right here? I'm going to burn my refresh right away. Let's grab the guardian. It would be great to hit enemies in the distance. That's what you're going to want to do here. You want to kill mobs. And you're not going to want to die right away because, as you see, there aren't really many mobs here. Or they are spread apart. So it wouldn't really be effective. Let me put them... Ah! I might die. Let me put on my headphones really quick. And you know what? Let's grab the lightning emitter here. Because this can hit enemies in the distance. This can hit enemies in the distance quite well. So first of all, we're going to wait until the first boss to die. We're going to wait for the first boss to die. We're at 30 seconds so far. We have a little bit to go. And this can be effective as long as you have the Red Armor of Quietus. The Red Armor of Quietus. Quietus. Everyone be quiet. It's Quietus time. I need to stretch my abs out a little bit. Let's grab the soccer ball. And then maybe I should find some drones too. We might need drones for bosses here. We want to kill bosses as quickly as possible. That's one of the things too. Let's grab... Hey, the Exobracer? Should we do it? No, not yet. Let's grab the Lightning Emitter. Even more Lightning Emitter. Hey, don't kill me just yet. I need to stop looking at chat. I need to stop looking down. So let's collect some biofuel here. Hey, HE fuel might be very effective, but I'm going to grab the lightning emitter even more. I would like to find both drones. We only have two chances. And to be honest, I have had really bad luck finding drones lately. I don't know what's up with that. Okay, I'm going to grab the high power magnet. I've had a lot of bad luck finding drones. In Ender's Echo, I've just been quitting. Is Void Power useful in game? Yeah. It's very good in chapters, very good in stages. You can essentially hide inside the black holes, inside of the shields, and not take any damage, negate damage. And rapidly just kill enemies. Let's grab more donuts here. I had a brownie earlier. <laughs> I'm trying to open chat on my phone, but I can't look away because I don't want to take damage just yet. Get away from me. And we're going to lose oxygen here. Let's go back to our oxygen station. No drones, guys. No drones. What's going on? No drones so far. I don't know what has been going on with my account. For real, I just have not been able to find any drones whatsoever in Ender's Echo in any game mode. It's like yesterday I spent, you know, $200 on that red tech park crate during stream and... They're like, you no longer get drones because you spent money. I, I seriously feel like that's it. I'm not even joking. So let's see. Help me out, Kroki. We need to kill some enemies. It would be great to find... Hey! Don't hit me. I'm going to grab more high-powered magnet because as you see, I'm not finding the drones. I'll keep on saying that over and over again until we find them. But I don't know what's happening, guys. Have drones been erased from the game? Here's a drone. Look at this. Type B drone. All we need is the other one. Because we really need to kill bosses as quickly as possible. So drones might be important. As well as AoE type of skills. And skills that can hit enemies in the distance. Okay, let's go. What the heck? <laughs> what the heck is this? I'll grab the Koga Ninja Scroll. Why not? This can help us level up our skills faster. And here's a magnet. Can we find Type A drone? No. What the heck? What the heck, Survivor.io? Seriously, what the heck? <sighs> I'm gonna grab Oil Bond. You know what, I wanna find Type A Drone. I don't wanna be without it. The bosses might be tough here. And we're going to need to kill them. So not having both drones is going to hurt us. We can restart this, but we're already three minutes in. We're already three minutes in. And we there are a lot of mobs here, so maybe we can die and see. Let's die right here. We'll just do a quick example. And then maybe restart this if bosses get tough. Where are... 
Where is Type A drone? Where are the drones? What is going on, Habby? Why are you doing this to us? So let's die here and enter a soul state. Kill me, please. I want to die. Where are the drones? I'm getting mad for real. Best weapon, kunai. Sword of Disorder. Void power. Yeah, for real. RNG, what's up? I don't even think it's RNG. It's it, They're purposely doing this. And I want to die. There are purposely like no drones for you. And I'm serious. It's just, It's been happening multiple days in a row. I found one drone. Look at this. One drone. I have freaking oil bond. I have oil bond and the Koga Ninja scroll. I don't need them. But this is the Death Walker build. As you see, we're in a death state. And there's a little timer right here. Maybe I can point it out. You guys can see it. There's a timer there. It says 19. It keeps going to 20. So each time we kill a mob. And we're invincible. We can't take any damage here. We are invincible. So every time we kill an enemy, our timer is going to reset by a little bit. I, I believe they said 0.1 second. So we're essentially invincible now. And as you see, they're coming right up to us. They can't kill us. And that little timer gives us 20 seconds until we die. So we cannot die or it's, it's over for us. Okay? So that timer is resetting, and the only time we can die is on a boss. We need to kill the bosses as quickly as possible. Oh, we found Type A drone, finally, but we also still have Oil Bond. We need to kill this guy as quickly as possible, but as you see, we can't take damage. The timer is going down. We have 13, 12, 11. Kill the boss, buddy, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Okay, we also need to kill mobs now. We need to start killing mobs. It's very important to do so. So let's grab some skills here. I'm going to grab more Sword of Disorder for now. We have five seconds. Four. Five. It's, we need to bring it back up to 20, guys. We need it back up to 20. Four. So let's see. We can increase our range, but I, I need to save those slots right there. We're at four. Three. Four. Three. It would have been better to do this while we have more mobs around us. As you see, there aren't essentially more mobs. So we might die right here. We might die. Two seconds left. Two seconds. Three. Two. There aren't enough mobs around right now, guys. There aren't enough mobs around. Let's grab more soccer ball. We need to kill more. We need to kill more enemies as quickly as possible. And let's see. Let's grab the sword of disorder. Maybe we can evolve that. Also, check it out. Our souls are shackled. We're not taking any damage, so our stats are going to be permanently increased. Five seconds. Okay, we're going up six seconds right there. I believe you need 125,000 damage to join my clan, but I'm not exactly sure. Okay, we're at 10 seconds. We're doing well now. We're not going to die. And here is the Sword of Domination. It's time to dominate. The Ammo Thruster might be very effective here. But what, let's see. I'm going to need Sports Shoes. Hmm. Hmm. Let's just grab Type B Drone for now. I'll decide what to pick later. Croaky, you're dead. What are you doing over here, buddy? Let's grab Sports Shoes. That way we can increase... We can evolve the Soccer Ball into the Quantum Ball. What is that, Mike? Yo, buddy. Okay, we're going back to 20 seconds now. See, so as we're invincible here. We are in a death state. We're invincible. No one can kill us. They can walk right up to us. We won't take any damage. Bosses can't kill us. Enemies, nothing can kill us. We're invincible. And as you see, we have 500 souls shackled. And with the Sword of a Disorder, here's the Quantum Ball. Once you take damage, that's going to un unleash, like, uh, unleash the souls across the screen, cause damage across the entire screen like an atom bomb, like a nuke. Napalm. Get the make the drone, get the mine, combo with the lightning, get the drill. That'd be very good. Okay, should we choose the ammo thruster or yeah, I'll, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna find uh let's see. The energy cube. I would like to find the energy cube here. So we have, you know, max 20 seconds here. Here's the destroyer. Finally. And I only have the armor of Quietus. Here, uh, let's grab the drill shot. You guys want to? I only have the armor of Quietus without Astral Forge effects. So if you had Astral Forge effects, you could increase the duration, I believe. But right now, the duration is only 20 seconds for me. Make space slots. So we're invincible. There's nothing anyone can do. We can just AFK now. Since there are a lot of mobs, once we kill them, 
our timer is going to reset. So you see that little ghost on the right? The three, the little timer? It keeps like going from 19 to 20, from 19 to 20. That's because we keep killing mobs. That's because we keep killing mobs. Let's grab more drill shot here. And as we really can't take any damage. Check it out. We can run into the enemy. We're just in this state. We're in limbo right now. We're in the space between death and life. What is the best setup in battle according to you? I use kunai. What do you think will be the best skills to go with the kunai? Well, the kunai is a great boss killer. So if you're struggling against mobs, you know, skills that are great against mobs, like the one ton iron, the defender here is kind of great against mobs, the molotov, other skills like that, skills that are good against mobs, skills with good AOE. Because the kunai is an excellent boss killer and you don't essentially need to... <laughs> let's grab more oil bond. And you don't essentially need anything to focus on uh, bosses. But I would still grab the drones. I think the drones are always necessary. Okay, here we go. This is the Death Walker build. We are walking on death, baby. We are walking to death's doorstep. I see many strange things while you play. Maybe they are in higher levels. What do you mean? I don't know. Okay, here's a magnet. We're approaching the eight minute mark. What should we grab here? These aren't the things I'm looking for. I was looking for the energy cube, but I'm going to grab HE fill because the Void Waker emblem is going to increase our uh, crit rate anyway. So let's grab this right here and we don't essentially need it. Here's HE fill, even more HE fill. This can help us hit more enemies in the distance. And like I said, as you see, we have 500 souls shackled, and that's not changing when we take damage. So our stats are going to be increased by 50% permanently. Is the Eternal Necklace better? It is if you're using King and like Ender's Echo. This is just a fun build. It can get you the highest damage, but it's not effective in places like Ender's Echo and stuff like that. Can you please make a video for players who are in low levels, like level 30? Which weapon is best and pet and tech and parts and so? and what to do with the hard levels. Yeah. I do have some tier lists and stuff like that, but essentially, you know, sorter to sorter, the kunai, I love the kunai. The kunai is great for bosses, and if you're comfortable using it to kill mobs, which it can be effective doing, it's a great weapon to use. The best pet is always going to be croaky. If you're using king, they're going to increase your crit damage by the most. Rex is good at an excellent grade as well. Kerbobble can get the most damage, I've noticed. And tech parts. Precision of Ice. You always want the excellent precision of ice so you can get the drones to start homing in on the enemy. Can you show this build on Chapter 118 Trial? Sure. Well, I'm not there yet. I, I, I don't know where I am. I might be on Chapter 115. I've been taking it slowly just so I can play these chapters on stream so let's go let's grab more he fuel let's grab one of these oxygen centers too i'm at 31 or 32 i don't remember it's hard to remember sometimes which chapter you're on which chapter you last played i completely understand and here comes the 10 minute mark show us a boss now it's up to us to kill a boss because as you see, the timer is going to start going down. Let's go right next to it. We can't die. It can't kill us. And we're just killing it quickly. Look at that. Now we're down to 14 seconds, so we need to kill mobs. And there's a little bit of time right here where there are no mobs. Okay, now they're showing up. We're going back up to 20. We're safe. I don't know how to mention you. You can call me Sean, you can call me FaZe, you can call me FaZeCast, you can call me FaZe Diddy Combs, you can call me whatever you want. I don't know if that's what you're talking about, but that's, that's my name. Is this clan thingy? No, this is just a, a... What am I on right now? One of those main challenges. I forget which chapter I'm on. It's just a main challenge chapter. Can you keep... Bless loadout... Can you please tell best loadout which is usable in every chapter? Well, if you go to... There's a video on my channel which is like the best wish list. That pretty much shows the all eternal gear, the twisting belt, and red void waker treads. That's what I would recommend. Best weapon early game is always going to be the kunai. 
if you don't have any S grade weapons, Void Waker, uh, the, what's it called? Void Power is really easy for a lot of people to use. Some people don't like it, some people do. But it's an easy weapon to use. Oh no, I was talking about Mike, okay. Call Mike whatever you want, call Mike Daddy. I'm still playing these new chapters. Once I hit 113, I'll play chapter 113 and so on. Yeah, I'm still playing them too. It's funner that way. Trail and error. Trial and error. Can you link these videos, please? Give me a second. Here's one about the perfect wish list. Well, it's great for bosses, and the kunai is just a great free-to-play weapon. And if you have weapons like the, the Light Chaser, Void Power, those are very good against mobs. They're not the best boss killers, though. I got three S-grade equipment, and it's been less than 15 days. The weapon I have is Void Power. Void Power is great. Early on, it's, you can, you know, avoid taking damage if you hide inside the black holes and such. Look at all this food we're getting! When you are choosing shoes, will that increase the proportionate damage to slow enemies? Yeah, that will. So the faster you are compared to enemies, the more damage you can essentially cause. How does your king have gray hair? They are dead right now. We are in a death state. This is the Death Walker build. We are in a soul state, whatever they want to call it in this game. This is the reason for this build. This is how the build works. So, as you see, we are not taking any damage. We can't take damage. We're essentially dead right now. And we just have to keep on killing mobs to stay this way. So we're invincible, guys. We are invincible. And not only that, we have 500 soul shackled. A, an Astral Forge 3 Sword of Disorder. So we have a permanent 50% stat increase, which is insane. We're going to cause a lot of damage here. And also, the effects of the Void Waker Emblem are in play right now, too. I severely underestimated the Chaos build. Yeah, man. So did I. I haven't, this is actually my first time using it. This is my very first time using it. It took a while to get the armor of Quietus to red. So now I'm using it. A lot of people have been asking to make videos about this. Of course, I've heard about this build long ago. People talked about it long ago. My girlfriend is messaging me telling me to look at TikToks. <laughs> she doesn't know I'm streaming right now. She's like, check out this TikTok. Okay, give me a second. I'll check out this TikTok for you. She's not here right now, she's with her mom. Let's check out what my girlfriend wants to look at on TikTok. <laughs> Isn't this going to break the game if you're not taking any damage? Yeah, but it's still a hard build to kind of get. You do need the red armor of Quietus. There's something you want to tell me not over group chat? Hit me up somewhere. I need to tell my girlfriend I'm live. She wakes me up. She doesn't let me stream. I'm just joking. I love you. The invincibility is crazy. Yes, it is. And we have 30 seconds left here. We are invincible. We're going off right here. We don't even need to do this. We don't need to do anything. We can just AFK. Is there a, see, a way to get your RNG better after picking up weapons? There is. Some people like to try something like by getting good... By getting good RNG in something like, uh, what's it called? Special Ops. So if you get good RNG in Special Ops, you might want to try something like going into Ender's Echo after that. And here comes the final boss. Let's kill them. 
This is the Deathwalker build, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. All we have to do is kill the final boss and get out of here. Electro Moon, Steel Nasher. We are not taking any damage, and we won. We beat it. It's that easy. We were invincible most of the time and just killed that boss right there. Killed everyone. And let's see. Our final damage numbers, the Destroyer held it for us. I have played Souls. I played it before it came out while it was in beta. It was still raw, so it wasn't... I'm not a big fan of RPGs like that. Those type of RPGs have been around for so long. I used to play them as a kid. No deaths, baby. No deaths. Zero deaths. Okay, let's see. So this is the Deathwalker build. Check it out. We have the red armor of Quietus. We have Void Waker Emblem. As you see, the lower your HP is, the higher your damage. Triggers below 50% HP, max 40% damage. So that's going to increase our damage because we have zero HP. And the lower your HP is, the higher your crit rate. That's going to increase our crit rate because we have zero HP. And we have these Astral Forge to Astral Forge 1. So Fanatical, gain more battle EXP when HP is lower. So that's what's going to happen there. It's a great build. I want to chew gum right now. My mouth is really watery and I'm hungry. <laughs> So let's go do that again. Let's go do that again. What should we try now? $5,000 build. I haven't completed all of these. I really need to. You know what? Let's go. Let's go play main chapter. Chapter 115. Let's see if it works here. Here's a vertical chapter. Let's grab the drill shot. Let's grab the Sword of Disorder. This is the Shackle Sword. Yes, it is. As you see, we have three souls shackled right now. Here's Type B Drone. Zone Challenge 20. I'm not there yet. I, I think I'm on 16 right now. I'm taking things slowly, doing them on stream. And, uh, my buddy had trouble dying, <laughs> trouble dying on Zone Operation Challenge 20. The leader of Olympus was showing me this build. We tried Zone Operation 20 with all conditions on, and it was hard for him to die. Okay, let's go. We're on fire right now. And one thing, we can't like kill enemies when we're on fire, but the durian and the whistling arrow can. So if we have those evolved, we can essentially stay alive. I'm getting another advertisement on my stream. What the heck? At Astro Forge 3, you can maintain the 40% damage from level up of Voidbreaker Emblem. Also works well with Worm Skill. We should try Worm out. I love Worm. So let's grab this magnet now. We're on fire. Oof. I'll grab the lightning emitter. We are on fire. We need one of these fire crates. There's another magnet here. Let's kill some enemies first. Then grab that magnet. Hiya, yeah, it is King Skill. I'm not using King Skill. I'm not using Survivor Instinct right now. I believe there's requirements of 125,000 attack and above to join Olympus. Olympus is my clan, but I'm not a leader or anything like that. I don't make any decisions. Okay, now let's grab a magnet. I'm going to... I really want to find the other drone, but it, it's so annoying that I can't yet. So I'm, I want to find the other drone first. Give me the other drone! You see, guys? it's Something's going on with this game not giving us drones lately. I have to grab the force field. I'm forced to grab the force field. I don't know what they did. Like, drones are just harder to come by. Is this the same for other people?
King's skill is Survivor Instinct. It increases your crit rate, and once you evolve it into Sixth Sense, it increases your crit damage by 25%. Yep, tryhards will collect biofuel for level up just prior. Yeah. For additional 40% damage on him, he'll die quick enough without it, though. This really feels like hacking. RNG's the final unbeatable boss. It really is. It really is. I feel like Habby did this on purpose. What are they doing to us? If we don't find Type A join right now, it's rigged. This game is rigged. So if we don't, if we don't find Type A drone, rigged, because it's just continuously happening. At least my account's rigged. I, I swear something's going on. I have not been able to find the drones in Ender's Echo. I've been only using one drone, so I just keep on rage quitting Ender's Echo. You can mention people however you want. Like what the heck? I don't need Survivor Instinct, I don't need the Laser Launcher, I don't need the Brick! But I'm gonna have to grab Survivor Instinct! We already have crit rate, we, we don't need it! So annoying, <laughs> I'm so annoyed. You want me to restart the game? I will. No, let's, we'll play through it. We'll play through it. It's just obnoxious. The RNG is terrible in this game. What are they doing? <laughs> like I used... No. I won't let them get me. I'm grabbing the durian here. Here's Type A Drone. You keep searching for both drones to make the super one. Is that much stronger than other weapons? It's great against bosses. That's why I want it. I want to kill bosses as quickly as possible. I, yesterday I spent money on stream. I spent a lot of money on this game. And they still... And they still give me bad RNG. Waste of money. No, this is chapter 115, just the main stage. Hey, it's Hard Made Easy. What's up? Go subscribe to his channel. The only other good Survivor.io YouTuber. Everyone else is just a scammer or a sham. Let's go. Okay, I'm going to use my refresh. No drone. Okay. What is the bar that changes with the small cans? That is a bar that's going to show us when we catch fire. So if we're on fire, we can no longer use our skills for, I believe, a duration of about 15 seconds. But the Whistling Arrow and the Caltrops will still work. So that's why I grabbed them. So if we don't grab any of these batteries here, we're essentially going to catch fire. Deathwalker King should use Void Waker Gloves. Worm uses AF3 Eternal to max crit rate. Well, we don't need Void Waker Gloves here because... We don't. <laughs> That's what I was told. We don't need to do any of that. So we are on fire here. We're going to catch fire. Where's the freaking other drone? I've been missing out. I'm still in chapter 103, I think. Thanks for the shout out, bro. Go subscribe to him. No one else. So watch, we're on fire now. Our cooldown, our cooldowns like decreased, but we still have the drill shot. We still have the caltrops floating around. Oh, we're gonna die. We're going to die. Let's, we need to heal up. We need to heal up. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Let me heal up. Wait for me to heal. Heal the world. Let's open this chest. And we're getting one high power bullet. Okay. Oof. Let's grab the high power magnet. As you see, we're just not finding the drones. We're not finding type B drone. We only find one drone at once. 
One drone per game, Happy says. There's Type B drone. We're finally happy. We are free. We can do whatever we want now. Sorry I'm complaining so much about RNG. I just hate it lately. So let's wait until we find a boss and then die. We'll grab the soccer ball. Oh, let's grab the ammo thruster. And let's grab more sword of disorder here. So let me see. You don't need six cents because the necklace increases crit rate. Red Void Waker Gloves, they work too. Eternal loses 20% damage and healing won't be effective. So Eternal's gonna cause, if you use Eternal Gloves, it's gonna cause you to lose damage and your healing's not going to be effective. It's also gonna stop you from dying easily. So that's why we're not using them. Or we are using them. So each, if we, we'll try Red Void Waker Gloves after this. I was told not to though. Let's go die sometime soon. The key of this is not to die early. Yeah, finally, we got decent RNG. We have both drones. We've been waiting our entire lives for this moment. It finally happened. Okay, let's go kill. We might be able to die here, but I don't think there are enough mobs just yet. And we don't have enough skills just yet to kill them all. RPG might be effective. I'm gonna grab it. I don't have the tech part for it equipped though. I'm hungry. Should I eat some food? Should I eat food on stream? Morning Rashad, nice to see you again, buddy. How are you doing? I don't use drones if you got sword. Well, and the purpose of this is we want to kill the bosses as quickly as possible within under 15 seconds, essentially. So we're using drones here. Because if we don't, we're going to die. This is the Death Walker build. Of course, we're not dead yet. We're not in a death state. Perhaps we can try dying soon. Boom. If we can die. <laughs> Let's see, can we die? Not yet. Let's try dying. I just don't feel like there are enough mobs here right now. They're very slow walking up to us. So I don't think we should die just yet. Did you buy the event yet? Nope, not yet. I was going to make a video about it, but I decided to stream instead. And here's a boss. Maybe we can let it kill us. Let's let it kill us. Now we're in that Death Walker state. We are invincible. We just need to kill this boss within 14, 13, 12. Oh, it's getting close. 10. Nine, eight, seven. This boss goes underground, so it might not be a good boss. Where? Come back, boss! No! No, we're going to die. We did that too early. We did that too early, but the boss died too, so we're alive still. We killed it right there. We killed it with the last second. And we're dead. We have to use a revive token. We did it too early. This is not a great chapter to do it on. So as you saw, we died. We died. That boss went underground. It wouldn't give us a chance to hit it. We need those drones. That's why these drones are important and increasing your damage is important. Collect coins first. Can you die anytime and still complete the level or only at the last wave? Um, you can die and complete it, but you have to keep killing mobs. And these mobs are just so slow here today. So slow. So this not might not be a great chapter to use the Deathwalker build on. We need to increase our damage. Grab more durian, I guess. That boss really annoyed me. Drones are certainly OP. And I'm hungry. I'm going to grab something to eat in a second. <laughs> Here's the Sword of Domination. Give me one second. Yeah, I can probably do it right now.
And we're dead. I walked away, I came back dead. So we can AFK here for a bit, but we're down to 18 seconds, 17. Let's see, let's eat a Slim Jim. I'm gonna eat a Slim Jim if I can open it. <laughs> Gold is fine. Gold is fine. We're going to die. The fire killed us there. We're back in action now. Okay. We have two seconds. We really need to get this up. Three seconds. Okay. Let's go revive Croaky. Croaky, help us out, buddy. Four seconds. This is not a great chapter to do it on. Slim Jim and Red Bull. Three seconds, two, three, five. Okay, we're back to five, six. We need to keep killing. Let's decrease our cooldown then. Maybe that can help us. Eight. Okay, here we go. We're back to 10. We can do it. We can do it. We need to get to 20 though. We need to get to 20. Zombies are incoming. Hurry up and show up. Hurry up and become incoming or I will be coming. Okay, here they come. This might help us because there are a lot of them. They're faster moving. They're not like those other ones. We're going up to 18, 20. Okay, we're there. We did it. We did it. Let's eat another Slim Jim for good luck. Good of champions, guys. Which final boss do they mean in the description of the Chaos Armor that you can't die till you kill it? Well, any final boss. So if we die, while we're at a final boss, we're just going to die. We won't revive. We have 20 seconds to kill it. We have 20 seconds to kill it, or we will die. The game ends. You might have to revive. Use a revival token like I did earlier. Shark my gun, baby. We're doing better now. This is definitely food of champions, guys. Definitely for, definitely the way to go. Slim Jims for breakfast. Red Bull for breakfast. You can't go wrong with that. We also have some cashews. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you can increase that duration if you Astral Forge the uh, Armor of Quietus, but I don't have it forged yet. Cashews are prime. And listen, this is only my second Red Bull today, okay? Unless it's unsalted. These are salted with sea salt. So this boss can't kill us. We're going to kill it right away. Look at this. We're doing well, guys. And we didn't take any damage. We are invincible. We are walking on death right now. Death is knocking at our door. And we're like, get out of here. I'm going to grab this. Grab HE fuel. Okay, I'll grab you. And that's it. 
Let's go ram the enemy. Okay, here we go. Second Red Bull already. I drink like six per day. I'm a very healthy person. Very healthy diet. Very healthy. That's how I got these guns here. Look at this. Huge guns. I'm, just, I'm very skinny. That's how I maintain my skinny body. Okay, so we are invincible. There's nothing anyone can do here. We won't take any damage. But once that fire goes up, we will lose our cooldown. We'll stop attacking people. Exobracer, fine, I'll take you. I face sorry for being late. Had to revise for me history exam. Hey, good luck on your history exam. What's up, 4W Element Ender? Cool name, as always. Fellow skinny guys, what's up? Skinny Kings. Does the Red Bull subdue my appetite? No, it makes me even hungrier, makes my mouth watery. I'm just drinking it for, uh, to wake up. I woke up early. New player, what should I, should I just do chapters? Yeah. Start playing through the chapters. Have fun playing through chapters. Enjoy your time. Do chapters, do main challenges, do whatever you can. Hey, Lucas, how are you doing? I'm doing well here. Hope you're doing well. What's a Slim Jim? A very Swedish question, I guess. It's like a meat stick. Let's read it. Ingredients, beef, pork, mechanically separated chicken, water, textured salt, flour, corn syrup, salt, contains less than 2% of natural flavors, dextrose, paprika, and ex extratives of paprika, blah, 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 stuff like s sodium nitrite, no artificial colors, no artificial flavors, and contains soy. Okay. Slap into a Slim Jim. Definitely, I believe in American snack. I love them though. I drink a lot of lemon water or green tea to subdue my appetite. Good idea. As a skinny person, I need to eat as much as I can though. Uh. There will be plenty of events in this game to come, don't worry. This game constantly hits us with events. We are testing out the Void Voidwalker build. As you see, we're in a death state right now. We're invincible. We can't take any damage. And our damage is increased. We have 500 souls shackled. Yeah, I, I don't gain weight unless I use like supplements. <laughs> are you the same way? I just absolutely don't gain weight. I'm starting to get like a little tummy though. When you might TikTok, you'll understand I'm a tall big dude. Okay, let me check my TikTok. It's me, Mike. What's up, Mike? I'm going to check your TikTok. Look at Mike. Mike is big and buff. Reclaim your happiness. Being a savage with work and works out makes me happy. Mike can beat me up. Mike can beat everyone here up. Be careful, guys. So we're on fire. Our cooldown is low. But as you see, the Caltrop still works well here. I'm looking at Mike's TikTok. Go and subscribe to Mike. Uncle Mike... With the like. So as you see, the drones are working. The whistling arrow is working. The caltrops is working. And that's that. Okay, let's go up here. Let's grab more energy cube. Let's grab even more energy cube. I can't stand people like you and Rashad with those god-tier metabolisms. Ectomorph for the win. 
We suffer, we do. That's why I like I need to eat right now because my mouth keeps watering and I feel weird. <laughs> mm -hmm. I like feel sick if I don't eat. Here comes the final boss. We're going to do it. Need the glizzy switch and HE foe. Always they be the free spots from the drones. Yep, there we go. We just completed this chapter, the stage, with the Deathwalker build. Chapter 115. My first time even attempting this chapter. And uh, Whistling Arrow held it for us. Whistling Arrow did really well here. I'm waiting for Phase Cast to make the Macho Man face and say, Snap him to a Slim Jim. What does he do? He goes like, I don't know how to do it, but he goes like, Snap him to a Slim Jim. <laughs> Rest in peace, Randy Savage. Is that his name? Macho Man Randy Savage. That boss got battered. And here's Greenhouse Outskirts. Let's collect some rewards. Now let's go check out this build again over here. So we have the Void Waker emblem. The lower your HP, blah, blah, blah. We went through that. We do have eternal gloves on. We can take this off. And wear Void Waker handguards. Let's try them. You. Do you see how it says I have two gloves equipped? Did you see that? It says I have these and these equipped. This game bugs out on me sometimes. If you open it on multiple devices, it just does that. I'm not using an emulator, I'm using a tablet. Oh, my back starts to hurt. It does make you invincible. Well, you have to keep on killing mobs, so you, there really has to be a lot of mobs around. I'll show you what I mean. Upgrade Catnips better. What do you think they should do with him? Her. Catnips is a woman, by the way. <laughs> um, I don't know. I like catnips as they are. Oh, my back hurts. I like catnips. I think they're pretty fair. I think it's pretty good. Maybe give it a little more healing from the drones. I'm not exactly sure, but I like catnips. Let's try 116 with a Deathwalker build. You want to see Astro Forge for the shiny wrist guards? Okay. They should add a phase cast survivor. What's up with them? Where did the shiny wrist... Okay, give me a second. You see, they're not showing up right now. Hold on. We're going to restart the game. So all my gear wasn't showing up there because I had the game opened on another device, then I opened it on this device. And sometimes that causes you to like lose your gear. Hi camera. <laughs> I like sitting all the way in the corner over here. Okay, here the, here we go. We have all the stuff here. So Astro Forge shiny wrist guards. We have chain explosion causes explosion in a random location when monsters die. When monsters dies. When monster dies. It's worth it if you like kill farming, and that's really it. Get a little bit more doing it that way. Okay, let's go. So we are now trying out Void Waker handguards. I have not done this yet. I don't know how it's going to go, but we're doing it. Here's Type B drone. I'm still hungry. My mouth is still watering. Let's grab the drill shot here. And find an oxygen station. It would make chapter four better, yeah. And chapter one and chapter 20.
We have both drones now. Mm hmm. Yo, what's up? John Ra, John Ray, John Ray. Cash, you should make you feel a little bit, yeah. My mouth just keeps watering, though. What's up, Silver Zeppelin? The Silver Zeppelin's from my clan Olympus. Very OP player. What's the giant red ring around you? That is the effect of the Eternal Gloves. I believe they call it Sanguine. I don't know how to pronounce that word. Sanguine area. It will insta-kill minions. Insta-kill monsters, as you see that little red skull there. Finally, good RNG. Yeah, I know. Finally. <laughs> Seriously, it took a long time to get it, but we found it. So this is the Deathwalker build, guys. And right now we're trying out uh, Void Waker hand guards with it. Hmm. You actually got it kind of right. Genre. 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 Sorry. My mouth waters a lot, too. It's metabolism related. Yeah, man. I feel your pain. I hate it. I hate watery mouth. <laughs> but I'm a hungry boy. We have type A drone. Okay. Okay. So this is chapter 116. We're trying out the, the Deathwalker build. Uh-oh. Where did that station go? We need to find another one. And as you see, we are no longer rapidly healing. We're also losing HP here. It's Africans, not France. I'm sorry. I'm so I don't know how to say anything. I apologize to everyone. I was trying to me, me like more like Balkans, like J genre. Nikola Jokic. Don't forget about the expedition challenges doing them at the moment. Oh yeah, I saw that. Our leader was recently streaming them to me. They seem very easy. You can just sit there and AFK, put on the force field and just AFK. So we're at the three minute mark. Should we die? Should we try dying early? Let's see what happens when we die. You got my name right. I'm a happy boy. Well, your name's easy. There's a lot of people with your name. I like your name. The first time I got it right, I can't do it over again. That's what happens. You say something right the first time, then you think about it and you just do it wrong the entire time. It's more like Netherlands. Great place to live. Let's see, what should we grab here? More drill shot for now. Okay, come back. We need to claim this oxygen station. We need more oxygen. I need oxygen to breathe, oxygen to live. So how do you guys like the Deathwalker build? It's pretty nuts, isn't it? It's pretty nuts. It's not going to, of course, be effective in Ender's Echo, but it's pretty nuts. Maybe we should grab the Molotov. Let's try that right now. This can also help us heal. King and the Molotov have a special skill. As you see, we're now healing just a little bit. I felt a cashew come out of my mouth right there. And we're almost dead. We are almost dead. Heal me, Molotov. Uh-oh, our station has left us. We're left here alone in the wilderness with giant worms. Here's another one. Hey chat, can we get some hearts in here for an awesome stream? Let's get these hearts going. It's Mike Netherlands. Africans and Netherlands kind of sound the same. I have to check that out. I'm not very worldly cultured, but my girlfriend is from the Balkans. I plan to move there sometime soon. Thanks for the hearts, guys. 
Okay, here's a boss. Let's die here. Let's die here. Oh wait, we already dead. Okay, never mind. My bad. So we died now. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. I need to stop reading chat. So we had one death there. If you could make skill visuals, what would you do? I would make some very brutal ones. Very brutal ones, like skulls and... Like, I like these Halloween outfits a lot. Okay, I'm gonna die here, so we can go into a death state. Like, an undead army. Make everyone, like, look like skulls. I do like the commons pumpkin mask. Okay, so now we're in a death state. We are invincible. We can't take any damage, but we have to keep on killing mobs. Kunai needs tracers. That would be awesome. That'd be really fun. Hey, hiya. I'll see you later. Thanks for joining us. Hope you have a good day. You're very geographically challenged. <laughs> Fail. We failed. I wasn't paying attention. That was all my fault. Hmm, let's grab more Sword of Disorder. But we can still do it. That's okay. I didn't realize I was in a death state. I just wasn't paying attention. Sometimes that happens. My mind's like all over the place. S distracted me. <laughs> Why didn't you guys tell me? It's all your fault. I'm blaming. I'm just joking. I'll grab the brick. I haven't used it in a while. Four, three, two, four. We need to get some more kills, guys. Hmm. Okay, let's grab the ammo thruster. We need to get more kills quickly. Let's eat some food. Eight. There, all these enemies are just spread apart here, so it's kind of hard to get these kills going. Let's grab the Sword of Disorder. It would be great to evolve it. Ten. Okay, let's see. What else can we get here? I'm just going to grab more Molotov for now. We need some AoE skills. We need to kill more enemies. We're at 14. Okay, we have the Sword of Domination, finally. Let's go. Let's grab more Drill Shot. We're back to 20 seconds. Okay, we're safe now. We're back to 20 seconds. The Whistling Arrow is your favorite. I love the Whistling Arrow. I like the Lightning Meter. I like the Soccer Ball, the Quantum Ball. And I've really been having fun with the force field lately. Here's the whistling arrow. Just what you wanted, Rashad. We have it. It's your favorite. Here we go. Hmm. Let's grab HE fuel. My mouth is getting watery again. Too engaged, guys. Teo Teon. I don't know what that means, but hello. South Africa has 11 national languages, but yeah, Africans is one of them. Do you have this as your main source of income? No. I own a business. And this is kind of for fun. It does generate a good amount of money, though sometimes. Like, uh, you'll notice that I have random Uno streams and Uno videos. They don't just use that for my channel. They use that for their commercial purposes. But they pay pretty well. So if you see UNO videos and stuff like that, that's why you see them. They're paying me to do it. <laughs> of course, Habby is not paying me to do this, but they have paid me before to license my videos to use in advertisements. And I believe they made like 20 advertisements, but I've never seen them. More brick. UNO is... Is it? Just a car, a family fun card game. Open book kind of guy. <laughs> mm, so I started this YouTube channel just for fun, just to show my friends some videos of myself playing games. And slowly people started to subscribe. So now I think I need to take things more seriously. Uno is chill, man. Yeah. I like playing Uno. It's not the biggest view getter. But they do pay. Hmm. What should we grab here? Sports shoes. Whatever. 
We can increase our movement speed, and since we are wearing Voidbreaker Treads, Red Voidbreaker Treads will essentially increase our damage by even more. We have 500 soul shackled, and as you see, whenever we collide with the enemy, that's not going away. So we permanently have a 50% stat increase. Thank you. I'm glad I started too. It's been fun. It's been a lot of fun. Thank you, guys. I plan to collaborate with Hard Made Easy at some point. He's a cool guy. If he's still around, I'm not sure. What do you need to get the... Avity of Invincible? You need the Armor of Quietus. Void Wicker Emblem, but the Armor of Quietus will make you invincible for about 20 seconds. As you see, it says 19 up there right now. Once we kill an enemy, that's going to... I believe decrease it by 0.1 seconds. I'm not exactly sure what they told me. So we have to keep on killing mobs to stay invincible. So you want to do this, you want to die suicide whenever, you know, there are a lot of mobs around. Because if there aren't a lot of mobs around, you're just going to die. And then you also want to kill a boss as quickly as possible because you will just die if not. MW3 comes out tomorrow, I'll have to play it. Faze, do you play E, A, F, C, or... F no, I haven't ever played them. But I would like to. I think it would be fun. I've never played Fortnite. I've watched people play it. I'm told it needs to be legendary. But that's really all you need. The Armor of Quietus, and then they say the Void Waker Emblem. Right now I'm also wearing Void Waker Hand Guards just to check them out. I just recently found out that the fuel actually makes your weapon size bigger. You can see it on Void Power. Oh, does it? I didn't know that. I didn't know that it made your weapon bigger. I have to look at that. We should play some Fortnite. What was the one monster when you first played and it's a gigantic problem? Mine's a lizard from stage 20 as in free to play week. Yeah, those lizards were insane. Those blue lizards were tough early on. I certainly agree with you. Those were the biggest problem for me, too. <laughs> Do I play Minecraft? I used to, but I used to just like build things like mansions and like underground fish tanks and random stuff like that. I would like to play it. And then I'd go around killing villagers. Let's play some Fortnite. Fortnite hard made easy. Yeah, OG season is back and it's fire. I saw that. I see a lot of people talking about it. I think HE or something like that. The lizards were a problem until I got void power. Yeah, void power can make it easy for some people. HE field can make it easy for some people. The defender, the guardian can make it easy for some people. Let's go. Let's kill everyone here. We're still in this invincible state here. We're just invincible. This build is too OP for anything. We're not going to die no matter what we do. We don't even need oxygen. I just like to hang out around these buildings. <laughs> I'm just lurking. I'm loitering. So we could just stand right here. We can just AFK. And eat another Slim Jim. We're not using Eternal Gloves anymore, just Void Wicker Hand Guard, so it's looking pretty good. My birthday is on November 22nd. When's yours? I guarantee you no one can guess my age. Rashad, my skinny brother. I'll see you later. You think I'm 42? Do I look 42? 
two to you? Chapter 96 is crazy. 42? Look at this flawless skin. Guys, I'm 19. I'm only 19. 35, 33, I'm 19. Do I really look that old? 28? I am 37. I will be 38 on the 22nd. <laughs> That's how it is. So look at this, we're invincible. We have one minute to go. Check out all these mobs. Check out all these mobs and shout out Olympus, shout out. I look my age, thank you. That's the first time anyone's told me that. Maybe I'm looking older now. You're also 19? 19 year olds need to stick together. Am I starting to look older? What's going on? Let me put the hat down. People usually think I'm in my 20s. You don't want to see what happens when I take the hat off. Kind of sucks when you start losing your hair. No, I, I would if I had shaved my head previously, but it's not going to look pretty right now. It won't look pretty. Maybe some other time. I, I've, I've, there's videos on my channel where I'm not wearing a hat. There are streams and videos if you want to look. <laughs> not right now. I don't like how it looks right now. Not at this moment. Now here we go. We're going to kill Poison Ivy. That's the final boss. I'm 37. Destroyer dealt the most damage. Check it out. Whistling Arrow is doing really well with this build. I like the Whistling Arrow. So we're going to end the stream here. We've been streaming for over an hour. We completed a few chapters. We completed a few daily challenges. And I want to thank everyone for being here once again. I am very self-conscious. But the thing is, you guys don't... It's ugly up here. It's ugly up here right now. Maybe tomorrow. If we stream tomorrow, I'll take my hat off. We'll do a head reveal. We will watch you even with the hat off. I would like to not wear it. I, I'm not self-conscious. I just... It's not pretty right now. If it was pretty, I would totally do. I think I look better without a hat, to be honest. So we, here's the Death Walker build. We have the Armor of Quietus. Time to lick my mouth. We have the Void Waker Emblem, the Sword of Disorder, which isn't necessary. And right now we're using Void Waker Handguards, which are also are not necessary. We'll do a head reveal tomorrow. The hat is my crown. Oh my god, I got a new hat. Let me show you guys. <laughs> I bought this off the TikTok store. TikTok now has a store. What's the most hardest chapter in your opinion? Like, I believe it was 103 at one point. Nothing has really been that difficult after that. W stream, let's go. And I want to thank everyone for joining me. We'll stream tomorrow. What do you guys want to see? We can continue using the Death Walker build. I think it's very OP. This is my first time using it. I bought this hat for $7 off of TikTok. I'm going to wear it at night when I ride my bike by myself. <laughs> Don't make fun of me. Chapter 4 is mad, baby. So thanks all of you for joining me. This is the Deathwalker build, of course. If 
you're just watching this video, you can rewind, you can check things out. Hey, thank you, some dude. You're not just some dude to me, you are the dude. So I thank all of you for being here. Thank you to Mike. Thank you to everyone in Ollie. Thank you to Hard Made Easy. Make sure to subscribe to Hard Made Easy. We might do some collaboration soon. I need to check out what he sent our, our messages and talk about stuff. Yeah, the chest alone let me hit chapter 96 at 31k attack. Are you talking about the armor of Quietus? You used it? I used it on my alt one time for, uh, what's it called? The final battle event. My alt was very weak, but I kept on dying and this kept me alive, kept me invincible, and I was able to kill those bosses pretty quickly with it. Because it can increase your damage and stuff like that. Hey, thank you. I love streaming. We'll do it tomorrow. We'll stream some stuff tomorrow if you guys want to check it out. I might put out a video soon, so uh, on this new event. So go and check that out too. Thank you all of you for joining the stream. Thanks for being here. Have a great day.